you are doing fine. Life is a continuum. If you agree, let's discuss things that matters to you, the young professionals, your family, to the society, and to the world. This is your host, Ashing. Okay, it's February 14. And I have coffee here with me because it's already, um, it's almost midnight. So yeah, I need coffee to wake me up. So one of the best things that we could do in life is to have a cup of coffee and talk to someone that matters to us. Diba? So everyone, happy Valentine's Day. I hope everyone is happy though there are a lot of um, people out there who are single. So guys, you are not alone. We are on the same boat. And I know that on my previous post, I mentioned that I will try my best to really um, update or post online. But I'm not sure when this recording will be published or will be posted on my Instagram account. I just wish that this not this will not take too long or it's not too late. So I mentioned that I still need to think about the things that I have to oh my gosh I'm nervous. <laughs> things that I have to discuss here and before I decide to really start working on this I I already have a thought in mind that I should know at least my top five priorities in life because it's very important so maybe uh, that will be the thing that we will focus right now I mean, you and me, we've been through a lot of things since last year and even until now. Looking back the years when um, I was in high school through college and since I started working and, you know, being a young professional, I can say, um, yeah, I can say that my priority, my first ever priority is always God. It says that uh, seek you first the kingdom of God and everything shall be added unto you, right? I am a Christian, uh, a born again Christian. Well, let me explain this first. Born again Christian is not a religion. It has to do with the faith. If you will ask me what my religion is, then I'm, I will answer you that I am a Roman Catholic. But faith in God is strong. Yeah, my faith in God is stronger than my religion. There are other people now who go to church for the sake of, you know, dating, politics, or na sila sa mama. Right? Diba? Napilitan lang. And um, I received Christ as my Lord and Savior way back when I was in high school, yeah. And guys, 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 please take note that being a Christian, it doesn't mean that we live a very boring life. Like we just go to church all the time, that we don't talk to people or yeah to everybody because they are bad that we don't have any fun things to do that we are hej that we go out with friends who do yeah that we don't go out with friends that do that guys and a lot more i mean hello guys we understand we know we understand the stigma and why people are avoiding the topic about fate. But trust me, there is so much to talk about Christianity and when it comes to our fate. If you believe in Christ, if you 
celebrate Christmas because a king was born during that day or if you pray with your parents to, to Christ or to God or if you do the sign of the cross then you, you are a Christian there's no you know we can question that most people really misinterpret us those who are living in a Christ-centered life hi Okay, uh, yeah, going back, I know you know who are those celebrities that are very vocal about their fate, and most of them are even vloggers, right? Through that, um, I learned that my relationship to the Lord should always be my priority. So since then, I, I really try my best to go to church every Sunday to give my tithes. It's the 10% of your income. And I know, yeah, it's medyo masakit. It's it's bigger. It's it's big, you know. It's ten percent, and there are even times, ako ang yun sa na. No, with this specific amount, like Lord, please just this because I I have a lot of bills to pay, and then later on, but I really try my best as much as possible. I will give the ten percent because it's for God and for His kingdom. So, <laughs> well, understanding naman si Lord, He still allow me to um, have my work, right? Before my, my family was not in favor of my decision, but God is true to His promises because now family is very open and they already accepted my faith. Every day, yeah, every day my father will always play christian songs and sometimes i i, I joke around that hmm. um i joke nga oh pa sam na nagbalik load na pa <laughs> yeah I, I do that and me and my mom we just laughed because he doesn't even like get inside to any church right and now he's playing Christian songs every day. I mean, I'm happy. It's it's just so funny and ironic. Yeah, because maski sa simala pa na, he really doesn't um get inside. So anyway, uh, now I can really confirm that God really has a good plan in my life, in our lives, of course. His plans are greater than anyone else. Let me repeat that one. His plans are greater than anyone else. So whatever your plans right now, your goals and dreams, we know most of us, um, oh, we are sad, we get disappointed because a lot of things get delayed due to the pandemic and with all the changes around us. But please don't lose hope. Because tomorrow, and in God's time, everything will set into place. Because God's time is good, pleasing, and perfect. Nothing can go against it, okay? So, um, my second priority is my family, of course. I know that during the early years of my existence, I'm sorry that's my that's my watch uh yeah so during the early years of my existence i i really haven't seen my family as my priority because during those teen years i didn't appreciate them yeah that much the way i mean yeah i don't appreciate them the way i appreciate them now okay so there is a difference I mean, in town, I get back to my own. Chinese guarantee. My family is not perfect. It is perfectly imperfect. My sisters and I, we have different attitudes, values in life, characteristics, and perceptions. And that's just how life is, diba? 
but also my my parents are really i mean my papa and mama they didn't have the perfect relationship but it is working i think that's just how family is and no matter what will happen to you they will always be there for you so always remember that okay this may not apply to everyone because i know that there are a lot of individuals out there that uh that you know who came to a broken family or who lost their siblings or their parents well if you will ask me a family is not exclusive within the biological circle you you may also consider those who are with you on your ups and downs or your people who are in your church or your friends as your family it can be those people who understands you who loves you despite knowing your real personality a family is someone who supports you someone that corrects you and wished the best for you and mm, <laughs> the third thing that i would say it is my work yeah uh it is always my career maybe i will just share my work journey on a different episode hopefully so right now the the way i see it 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 works is um yeah work is really important because first it is my or let's say it is our main source of income right it is our active income we have to work hard we have to do our best in a smart way to sustain ourselves not just ourselves but also to help our family and uh, to secure our future family. And uh, we have a lot of trains. We have a lot of things that we want to buy. We have a lot of plates that we want to go. We have a lot of foods that we want to eat. We have a lot of things that we want to experience and enjoy. So practically speaking, money is a thing uh, yeah, that we need. So we have, and we really need to have an income to do all those things, right? Do you agree? And yeah, so second thing, it also helps us to grow as an individual if we have our own work, if we give our efforts into something. Sorry, I have to... I have to, I have to drink coffee, but there are dogs and dogs outside. Ayan ang ulam na sa bantay. I just hope that chicken will not make any sound. Please, oh please. <laughs> okay, so we're down on the fourth um, priority, and I find this very funny. But the fourth thing should be my special song. And since I do not have that person right now, but I love mom. My gosh, I, I just said something that I should not be talking about. Uh, by the way, I'm, I'm scared. Um, if you are listening to this and you are someone who is working in the same department as me, uh, how do you explain let's just talk in person so i can explain this part to you uh, yeah yeah I, I guess that's the only solution so i will say my fourth priority is my real friends okay that, that's the fourth thing i value my friends because somehow they are also my source of support and they are one of the reasons how i kept my sanity how i enjoy how I enjoy life and love my work. I enjoy talking to them, learning with them, and growing with them as an individual. I love sharing my dreams and my kapalpakan in life with them, mga katangaan. 
they are the ones who sometimes witness my ups and downs. Those things that I can't manage to let my family see or know that I have been through it. For me, there are things that are better consulted with friends because sometimes there are also, you know, as they are the only one who see that part of us that we never let other people see. Not even our family. I mean, do we let our parents notice na kinikilig tayo? Hmm. As much as possible, we hide it, right? Well, leave a comment if you agree. Or if there are other sides of you that you do not want your family to see. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, let me know. So, uh, yeah, the fifth thing. Yeah, let's just jump into it. So it will be myself, okay? Meaning, um, I want to give time to myself. I want to love myself. I want to respect myself. And part of it, it is having a good morning and night routine to really take good care of myself. But honestly, I am very guilty of this until now. I haven't followed my routine for the past several days as in super guilty. Yeah, since I acknowledge that, I have an area for improvement on that aspect. Now I am trying my best to work on those things. My friends at work, uh, we have this 30 day challenge and I am applying that right now. Hopefully by the end of March, I will give you an update if I, I mean, if I, yeah, I'll just give you an update. Um, about self, you should not let yourself be in stasis. Don't be stagnant. You have to continue learning. You have, uh, if you want to read books, go on. Well, of course, don't forget to choose the books that will help you achieve those things that you want to learn or things that you want to know. Baka puro precious heart romance ka na lang, hmm. Or bakit books na lang sa dhap? So, <laughs> so no. So you should really choose carefully those things that you were about to read because you're planting seeds in your mind. If you want to really achieve a master's degree or have the certification that you always wanted or to study again to finish your degree, go, go for it. Because, you know, in yourself, you know that you can do it. Diba? Now, if the situation doesn't let you, please hold on to that dream of yours. To get that certification, to go abroad, to be a streamer, or even to be a TikToker, is still a thing, or to continue in school, or anything that you have planned for yourself. Please don't let go. Hold it tight, and soon, if the right time will come, please, please embrace it with all your heart. Do your best shot. And those are my top five priorities. Hopefully, I make sense. If you are someone who already knows your top priorities, then I am very, very happy for you. If you are someone who wants to reevaluate your priorities, it's not too late. Go ahead. Now, if you are that person who doesn't know your priorities yet start now you can identify at least those top five priorities that matters to you it's only you who can um, determine your priorities if you are confident enough please let me know your priorities through leaving a comment on my IG account this post and um, yeah, that's it. Oh, finally, I still have to edit this one. Hopefully, I can post. 
asap uh so guys thank you for listening me to the first ever episode of tlc or the life continuum this is your host guys <laughs> my gosh can you call it a call my joke i mean padali ko kiligo na ni yeah so my gosh okay so so yeah i can't stop smiling but i'm happy so this is your host ashe and let me know let me know if you uh like this one or if you have uh, other things that you want to talk about or how it goes so we can have our second episode next week please so thank you guys <laughs> I'm pink.